Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyber Warzone. Um, today, um, some news is doing the rounds that uh, there is a possible breach of TikTok. Um, there are many tweets going on and people are actually investigating it. And I'm trying to summarize it for you in this video. Um, in short, they are stating that the data uh, is real and that it is not TikTok itself that has been breached but it's a, a, a company which does business with TikTok and has a lot of data because of that and um, it seems to contain information that shouldn't be on the web so it is actually quite concerning um, they also state that it contains around 2 billion records which is a lot and I don't have the data of course to tell you that uh, what the, what is unique or if it is actual uh, real data or not there are different companies that do this and I just need to wait till I get the data uh, from the web or via my sources of course but let's take a look at uh, what is being said about uh, Twitter breach so we have uh, Bob Dion Diachenko I hope I said it right his Twitter account is at Mayhem Day 1. He's a cyber threat intelligence uh, researcher at uh, securitydiscovery.com. He does a lot of things, so certainly check him out. Um, he has published uh, multiple tweets where he is actually analyzing the data. And they say that there is a big chance that it is, um, um, the data has been stolen actually from the Hangzhou Julan Network Technology Co because they are seeing a lot of references of it um, we also have some Twitter uh, accounts like uh, Anon Zen Kirasek uh, which is uh, uh, stating it on uh, Twitter we have the Daily Dark Web on Twitter which has also stating that um, the the hacker seems to be against the West. So the nickname of the hacker seems to be against the West. And the data set includes 1.6 billion records. And again, they have some screenshots. There is a GitHub account um, with against the West. Some interesting things there, but it hasn't been uh, updated for a long time. And yeah, you can actually take a look, but it doesn't mean that it is related. Yeah, a lot of things can be happening. Then we have the Forbes article, uh, which was published uh, on the 5th of September. And here they take a deep dive uh, into what they know, know from official resources. But again, all by all, it is still not clear that um, the data is uh, real or not and if it contains uh, usable uh, information this is something that needs to uh, be presented of course we also have of course uh, Troy Hunt and um, he is also stating that it's actually really interesting uh, what is happening and there might be a chance that indeed uh, the, the information is real but the weird thing is, is that TikTok is stating that they have not been breached. So looking at the statements by uh, Bob Diachenko, of course, that can be correct. But that does not mean that um, a lot of information uh, from TikTok um, was available in this data set. So time will tell. Um, let me know what you think about this. Uh, let me know about the impact. Uh, in the meanwhile, if you use TikTok, um, just make sure that you change your password. Um, if you're a parent, you have kids that are on TikTok, make sure that they change their passwords, inform them. And uh, yeah, follow the story, stay vigilant, and uh, let's see where this story goes. Peace.